Bible says that I have told Jezebel all Elijah had done. And one of the things he did was, just as we saw here, he challenged the prophets of Baal and he won. Also, Elijah raised the son of the widow in Zarephath. He raised him from the dead. Elijah also prayed that there would be no rain. And that happened. But after all this, Ahab went to Jezebel and told her what happened. And Jezebel said, I swear, let God punish me if I don't deal with Elijah. And when Elijah heard this, he started running. The one who stopped rain is now running for his life. Not just running, but he prayed and said, Oh God, that you may take my life. Why was he praying that? He was depressed. The powerful Elijah was depressed. And Elijah said to God, I am not better than my ancestors. Is it better for you to take my life because I am not better than my ancestors? And who were his ancestors? Maybe Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the prophets who came before him. I am not better than my ancestors because these ancestors or the prophets that came before Elijah, they all prophesied to the people of Israel, but they could not listen. They told them what was going to happen, but they could not listen. That is why Elijah said, I am not better than my ancestors. But why was he depressed? The whole Elijah. Just like many of us, you know, like some families, if you come to some families, you will see that maybe one person is like Elijah in that family. He is the one praying. She is the one praying. She intercedes for the family. He intercedes for the family. But sometimes that person will begin to be depressed, just like Elijah. Because one thing Elijah told God was, I am the only prophet left, and they want to kill me. Jezebel want to take my life. It is better for you to take my life. I don't know if many of us pray this prayer sometimes because of what is going on in your life or in your family. And you're praying to God, why is it only me in this family? My husband doesn't want to pray. My children don't listen to me. I have said all the prayers I have supposed to say. But it seems that something is not happening. What am I going to do now? Is it not good for God to take my life just as Elijah? But do you know what God told Elijah when he ran into the cave in 1 Kings chapter 19? God sent an angel. An angel went to Elijah. There, Elijah was sleeping and saying, get up and eat. Elijah, get up and eat. And he got up. He ate the bread 
But he went back to sleep again. He was still afraid. The angel came back to him again and said, Wake up! Elijah got up and ate. And he got up. He ate. He drank water. And he was threatened. And this is what God is telling us today. When you see yourself being tired, God is telling you, get up and eat. And the food he's giving to us is the Eucharist. And you know what God told Elijah the second time the angel came to him? God said to Elijah, you have to eat because the journey is still far. Just like our journey of faith, as far as we are in this world, we keep seeing troubles. We keep seeing pains until we get to heaven. Get up and eat, for the journey is still far. But the question I will ask every one of us is, are you depressed? Just like Elijah. There was a time you used to pray, and when you begin to pray, God will begin to answer you, just like Anna. When she began to pray, Samuel will begin to come. There was a time you used to stay before the Eucharist, in the chapel, before Jesus. But now, when you go to the chapel or before the Blessed Sacrament to pray, you can't concentrate because of what is going on around you. Are you depressed like Elijah? What is it that is going on in your family? Is it sickness? Why are you crying in the night? I am the only one remaining in this family. I am the only one that goes to church. Is that what you're thinking? What is that you think that God cannot solve? What is that problem? God said to Elijah, get up and eat for the journey is still far. And I'm telling every one of you, if you are depressed right now, get up and eat. Get up and eat the Word of God. Get up and read your Bible. Get up and say your rosaries. Get up and eat the Eucharist, get up and eat. Yeah.